Hello, YouTube. This is William. Hope you can hear me over the air conditioner. I had to get in here because it was the quietest place, believe it or not. Uh, the grind room's got fans and they got raining in the other parts of it, so uh, it just feels like a drum beating on the roof. It's been raining for three months. <laughs> uh, my yard is a swamp. Literally a swamp. I haven't been able to mow for weeks. Uh, they claim that we're going back to a jungle. I believe it. I believe it. I think each Texas is going to be the, the Amazon. <laughs> but anyway, um, thankful for the blessings that we get, right? All right. It could be a drought. We've had those too. All right. So let's talk about this video. I've uh, been trying to upload this video for the past three or four days. It's just too long. So I'm having to cut it up into parts. Uh, there's going to be, I uh, think there's going to be five parts to this. Um, so um, there's going to be two parts to the R&Ds and the, and the prototypes and all of that other good stuff. And then there's going to be a part for the sheaths and there's going to be a part for the MKs and there's going to be a part for the Nessies. Okay, so in total there's going to be five parts to this. So you've got plenty of time. I'm going to upload all five parts of this at one time at 6 o'clock in the morning. So there's going to be five videos uploaded at one time. You have plenty of time to go through this and watch all of them. Watch part one and, and we'll just watch all of them uh, in sequence, okay? And um, then the following day at noon Central Standard Time, then these knives are going to be posted on the website, on my website, at Available Custom Knives website. And there's a link to the, uh, to the webpage below in the description if you don't know what that is. So again, you have 30 hours to watch this video before the knives are uploaded, okay? So take your time, go through them, put on a list of how, choose five or six, because you don't know who's going to beat you to what knife. So at least you have something to go to if one of the knives that you want is taken already okay so at least you you don't uh, limit yourself all right since you don't know which sheath you're going to need or which knife you're going to get so i'm going to hold off on the sheath listing until the following day so 24 hours after the knife listing is posted and available for purchase then the sheaths will be listed okay so uh, that way you'll know which sheath you need for which knife purchase. And if um, you have a combined shipping, then I will um, refund the second shipping cost. Okay? Once again, this is only the first part of a five-part video series on this sale. You have two parts for the, uh, the uh, prototypes, R&D knives, one ofs, then you have a part for the sheaths, then you have a part for the uh, the WCNK's limited run, then you have a part for the Nessies, okay? So there's all total, there's gonna be like 60, I think there's 61 knives that's gonna be uploaded. 30 of them are gonna be um, one ofs and prototypes, and then there's gonna be 20 of the Nessies, and there's gonna be 10 of the WCNK's, okay? So, without further ado, here's the first part. Enjoy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go through each one of these uh, knives at this point. First, we're going to do the, um, the one ofs and the prototypes, and I'm going to give you the complete specs and everything about the knife in this video. Like I said, they will not be in the listing. All you will see is a picture and a price, okay? All right, so here we go. First up, we have the big mochetti. It's kind of like on the Parang style. It's made out of eighth inch AEBL. Okay, and it has a Kydex sheath that goes with it. And it, it's a nice sheath. You can throw it in your pack, whatever. It'd be a little big to put on your belt, but hey, if you don't carry a sword around, there you go. Uh, it has the, the sheath for it. Uh, this is AEBL stainless steel. Has been used lightly. All right, old markings. Eighth inch AEBL. Blade on it is nine and a quarter cutting edge. Handle and all is 18 and a half. All right, it's got a nice handle on it, choke up on it. Balance is right there. 
Okay, so the balance is just a little forward of the handle, got a little blade weight. It slices through vines and, and small branches like a dream. All right, okay, that's your parang. All right, pricing will be on the website. Um, this is a one of, this is probably uh, the first one of, uh, this is model B, or prototype B. This is where the, uh, the hunter-gatherer started to evolve, okay? So um, this one is made out of AEDL. It's got scratches on it, it's got kydex sheath, it's gonna come just like that. This is a used knife, and it will be priced accordingly. It has sure touch, black sure touch, uh, black canvas micarta pins, um, fantastic feeling little knife, I'll say little. But uh, anyway, uh, it has a kydex sleeve, so you can throw it in the pack or whatever you need to do. Um, blade on it, cutting edge is seven and a half overall, including the big hammer pole scraper type deal is uh, 13 and a half. Handle is five inches, so there's plenty of handle there to grab onto. Just a great, great little chopper or big chopper. Okay, now we're going to do the damages. These are the prototypes. We're going to do A. This one is 3 sixteenths 01. Okay, 3 sixteenths 01. Green canvas micarta. Handle on it fills up your hand quite nicely. Um, it's probably a medium to a small large uh, handle on this one. It's a little short. Uh, but uh, anyway, the uh, blade on it is um, cutting edge is 8 inches. Overall is 13 and a quarter, counting the hammer pole. Okay? Model B. Model B is Nitro V. You see that little dent right there? When I stamp, hand stamped the blade, I missed it and hit it with a hammer. So I'm not gonna grind all that steel out. It's gonna stay there, all right? So when you buy this knife, you're gonna see that little hammer mark. All right, this is Nitro V. Um, the width on this blade is two inches. Um, the overall, the, the cutting edge is seven and a quarter. Overall is 12 and a quarter, all right? Handle is four and three quarters. Okay, about the same size handle as the other one. But the width on this model A, the 01, is about two inches as well, all right? Model C, now this one is 3V, all right? 3V. I've made this a model C because when I was doing the grinds on the, uh, the damages, I made a mistake and put the grind all the way through. I forgot that uh, I stopped the grind short. <laughs> but uh, that's what happens when you get tired. So I just put this as a model C and to finish the grind out because it's too good of steel, too good of a blade to throw away. All right. So we're going to put this as a prototype C. Black Sure Touch, red G10 pins, red liners. All right. Cutting edge is seven inches. Overall is uh, 12 and a quarter. 3V, 3 sixteenths uh, steel. A lot of knife. All right. Okay, this is a prototype A, no name. Um, this is something I played around with several years ago. I just never did anything with it. Uh, this is model A. This is uh, was uh, 3 sixteenths uh, AEBL, has a distal taper. You can see that from the tip down. Um, yeah, it's just a, a, a phenomenal chopper, all right? So uh, blade uh, balance is right there. When you choke up on it, it has like a five position handle like the, the Parang did. Um, it's just a lot of knife. Um, width is about, uh, at the widest part, about two and three eighths. Blade uh, cutting edge is seven. Overall is 14 and a half. Handle, including the, 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 the actual micarta portion, is five and five eighths. Um, so there you go, it's a lot of knife. Three sixteenths AEBL. 
This is an old one, old style of Model 2 Master Woodsman. Okay? And what you see on there is just a coating of wax, beeswax coating on it. Uh, it has a natural micarta handle. It's just aged to where it's a brown handle now. A natural will age to a brown. Um, the cutting edge is 6 inches. Overall is 11 and 3 eighths. Handle is 4 and 5 eighths. The width at the widest part is an inch and a half. Okay? 530 seconds, 01 tool steel. This is a one of, no name. This is probably what started the, um, the mountain jack. Uh, for um, uh, uh, Randy at uh, Stitch Gear Outfitters. All right, basically what it is is a old, um, I took a blank from to the bone and, and modified it is what it did. All right, so uh, this is AEBL, has the old Texas stamp, has a one on it. Uh, basically what it is is a Scandi all the way through and this is a blended full flat so the full flat stops about here and then it's just blended in okay I don't know if you can see that or not but it is a very very thin 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 blade all right just a little bit of flex but not a whole lot all right I bet this thing will go through a white tail deer in a like a razor blade um, but anyway very generous hand this is the uh, the handle on this one is um, coffee bag, drunken coffee bag, with a thick red G10 liner or linen micarta liner, and red G10 pins, okay, or burgundy, to match the, the liners. All right, a big handle for for a good size hand. Um, the widest part is about inch and uh, seven, or I'm sorry, it's seven eighths, not an inch, seven, just seven eighths. Cutting edge is four and a quarter. Overall is nine and an eighth. Okay, I bet this knife would be a phenomenal belt knife for a hunter. Okay, now I got some EDCs. This one is made uh, with uh, African blackwood and black pins has the gold or yellow uh, liner. Um, and if you don't know what the size is, the, the uh, widest part is an inch and a quarter. Cutting edge is three and a half. Overall is eight and a quarter. Okay, phenomenal little EDC. I used it for a long time. Um, never abused, I don't abuse my knives. And uh, there you have it, great little knife. Here's an EDC that I got a little narrow here so uh, we're gonna let it go with this this is AEBL it has the old the new laser markings okay green micarta three and a half on the cutting edge uh, the uh, width is about one and an eight so it's a little bit narrower than the standard EDC so just a little bit of a modification nothing else has changed still still a great knife it's actually a brand new knife never been used okay but we're gonna let it go as a as a uh, prototype or one of okay. Now this is the uh, the EDC that kind of started it all. Uh, I used this one for a long time. This handle material is charcoal dima wood. Okay, so it's a very durable wood. It uh, has red um, liners with red mosaic pins, um, and it is made out of AEBL. Some of the uh, the heat treat marks or the blackened part during heat treat was left on this blade. Uh, it's just a beautiful, beautiful knife. Um, the um, the widest part is uh, about inch and um, three sixteenths. It's just under a quarter, inch and just under a quarter. Um, cutting edge is uh, three and a half. Let's call it eight and a quarter overall there is a kydex sheet that will go with this so there you go it is a cross draw right hand cross draw okay and here's the piece de resistance if i said that right this is my nessie that i used for a long time 
Um, this is Koa wood with a thick black liner. Has a centered black WC mosaic and black pins. Again, this is Koa wood. Okay, phenomenal knife. Has the distal taper. You can see the distal taper right there where they got the little line. That's where the line goes. I didn't blend this one like I did uh, the new ones now that's coming out. It's not as blended as well. So, old style. If you don't know what the Nessie looks like or dimensions on it, three and a quarter cutting edge has a, about a five eighths finger chawl. Then you got a four inch handle. Overall is about eight inches. This is a phenomenal knife. I had to kick myself and make myself sell this, okay? Because I mean, but hey, can't keep them all. Here's another one of. This is an AEBL. Has the old style stamp. See the E way down there on the bottom. Has the Texas stamp. This is a Scandi that goes into a saber. This one's made out of five, no, maybe eighth inch. Eighth inch AEBL. African black wood with a yellow liner. Has a black WC pen and black canvas micarta pens. Okay. This one's a, if you weren't looking for a small handle, this is probably a better knife for you. This one, uh, a lady or a, uh, a, anyone has a small hand, this is uh, probably something that would fit them. Uh, the cutting edge is four inches. The overall is uh, just under nine. Handle is four and a five eighths. But that's a skinny little dude right there. Okay, we got a bull. This is the first bull I made. And this one is 3V, folks. 3V. All right. Blue pins, blue liner, orange sure touch. All right. If you don't know what the bull is, it is 530 seconds. Has a Scandi with a distal taper. Okay. Widest part is about an inch and uh, just 5 eighths. I call it inch and 5 eighths. Cutting edge is three and five eighths. Overall is eight and an eight. Okay, does have a sleeve, a neck sleeve that comes with it. Nice little package. All right. Here is a craft knife or a little whittler. It is made out of A2, two steel, full flat grind. Uh, the handle on it is. Um, Walnut, black walnut, uh, just a phenomenal, if you have a, a teenager that is just starting out and you want a knife for them, I think this is a good candidate. Um, has a little neck pouch, comes just like this, uh, very light, I mean, it's, you forget you even wearing it, it's, it's a, just a great little knife. Um, again, this is one of those that I kind of kicked myself to, said, yeah, you got you need to sell it, you're not using it. <laughs> All right, but anyway, um, this one, this one is a great crass knife. Little Whittler, all right. Um, two inches blade. Handle is a four and a little over three eighths. Overall is six and let's say half, all right. Great little knife. 